So I was a young conductor then, uh, and I conducted uh, until then maybe the first symphony of Mahler and maybe the fifth only, only. And then I conducted the dance. And after it was known that I conducted the dance, everybody wanted me to conduct the dance of Mahler. So I in Madrid, in London again, two times, and then in Berlin, everywhere, I conducted the dance of Mahler before I conducted the other symphonies of Mahler. <laughs> First, the other way around, like this. <laughs> and only later, when I took uh, the Frankfurt Orchestra, I did the cycle, the whole cycle, many times, twice, and then on tours and all that, and I did the cycle in Venezia, and the, the, the La Fenice, and many other cycles. And also in Tokyo, of course, I think in Tokyo we did uh, three cycles until now. And, um, and the, the interesting thing that after I conducted so many times the dance of Mahler, I left it. And when I began to conduct in Frankfurt, I did the cycle of Mahler, but all the other symphonies, and I forgot the dance. Did not conduct it for many, many years. And only when we finished the cycle of the nine symphonies and did for the other, the idea came maybe we should do the tenth. It was for me like a new symphony again, because so many years I did not conduct it. So I had to think over again and to understand this symphony. So it was for me uh, the other way around. The begin with the end, and then go to the beginning, and then, and then at the end go again to the end, yes. <laughs>